They're flying sweet, mate, no. Well, here we are, just flinging a few arrows at um, some tiles with these new broadheads that I designed. Um, they're one, 130 with an adapter up, up front. Um, arrow combination I'm using is an Eastern Axis 340 with 130 up the front and it's about 470 grains out of a 70 pound wheat vector 32 at 20 yards and um, yeah just smash through that tile. Um, calling them Cayuga broadheads and yeah they fly, fly absolutely sweet. Just shot one of the broadheads and we're just shooting a field point just to show you the grouping. Both in that dot mate. We're just doing a test here with the Cayuga Broadhead uh, 130 grain and a 125 grain field point <clears throat> at just over 20 yards. Um, Matt's just grouped them in there in the Reinhardt dot uh, just to show you. Um, you get get the two bladed broadheads flying like a field point, the well-tuned bow and just um, just to show you how how they're flying. Uh, you got the, uh, the broadhead looks like it's the one on the right there with the, the deep penetration and the field point on the left there. But um, yeah, anything at 20 yards there just uh, shows you that you're in a lot of trouble. They're flying really well. Nice and quiet as well so they'll be great for your deer species and um, pigs that are uh, highly strung. Uh, they, we've shot them into the, um, the tile there. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just fixing up that tile. And they uh, come out sweet. Shot it through that tile and then pulled him out 20 odd yards and still shot beautiful. So you've got to be happy with that. I'll just show you here. Matt's just going to go and pull his arrows out. We've just got the broadhead there. And the field point. So, got to be happy with that. Go shoot some targets with the field points and have your broadheads on and yeah. go and go for a hunt yeah. and know you're going to group, group fine. Yep, screw them in, screw them out. Beautiful. Oh, smack.